Y'all ready for this? <laughs> it went viral when we first created it, yep. actually. In that moment, I think we knew that we were onto something that was resonating in, yep. a, in a very deep way. The yep. hashtag is this phenomenon now. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you want to go there? People are tweeting us like, hey, didn't y'all create Black Lives Matter? And then all of a sudden, it's like the Black Lives Matter movement, and then none of us are actually there to tell the story of the Black Lives Matter. The narrative has really evolved to this weird thing of, oh, you know, again, our black women are fighting for our black men. And it's like, wait a minute, what? No, we're fighting for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just set the record straight. My name is Opal Tometi. My name is Patrice Colors. I'm Alicia Garza. We, we are the founders of Hashtag Black Lives Matter. I am born and raised in the Bay Area in California. There's not many of us left. We're <laughs> almost like unicorns. I come from a long line of strong black women. My grandmother was a domestic worker. My mom did domestic work. A lot of my background in organizing comes from organizing with women. I come to this work because I am the daughter of Nigerian immigrants who are actually undocumented for most of uh, my childhood, possibly facing deportation. That to me really shaped my, um, my entire kind of you know, formative years. I grew up in Los Angeles and witness a significant amount of state violence. I remember the police officer who would patrol our block and would harass my siblings. And I remember feeling frightened most of the time. So my coming into this work has to do with the fight for black lives. We have breaking news tonight in the case of the unarmed black teenager shot dead by a crime when watch. When Trayvon Martin was murdered by George Zimmerman, this was a case where a child had literally been stalked and killed just steps away from home. The conversation that was happening in the media was what did Trayvon do to cause his own death? The reason Trayvon Martin died was because he looked a certain way. He was wearing a hoodie and that way is how gangsters look. Thinking about my 14 year old brother and not, literally not being able to sleep because I was like, this cannot be. When it was announced that the jury had acquitted George Zimmerman of all charges, it actually felt like I got punched in the gut. So I went on social media to try to find words for what was happening. And what I wanted in that moment was some love for us. And so I wrote a love letter to black people um, on Facebook. And I said, black people, I love you. I love us. We matter. Our lives matter. Black lives matter. And my sister here threw a hashtag in front of it. <laughs> she was like, that's the business right there. <laughs> and then uh, my sister Opal said, I have all these skills, and I can help build this out. We need people to have a space to tell their stories. We need folks to have a space to collaborate together, to strategize together, so that we can build the power that we need in order to get free. <laughs> When we developed Black Lives Matter, it was never just about the killings of young black boys. It was about an intervention and really declaring that all black lives matter. Black immigrants, black folks with disabilities, black trans folks, bringing our team that are at the margins closer and closer for the purpose of building our power. Black Lives Matter is about so much more than policing. Yes. And that's something that gets lost a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to bring together more folks than are just working in the criminal justice system. Yes. And we need to understand how police, right, are a part of the ability of these systems to thrive and function. I believe that we're in an incredible time with social media. Mm -hmm. It's been integral to our movement. However, I don't think it's everything. Like I we can't sit and watch on Twitter mm -hmm. or see the live streams and Facebook feeds and all that. We actually have to show up in, 
physically. We're kind of following in the same tradition as our elders mm -hmm. and utilizing whatever <laughs> means we have in order to get the message out. Lots of folks want to compare us to the civil rights movement. Our movement is not a historical. Yeah, we right. come from a long legacy of resistance and resilience as black people. But the old civil rights really upheld a narrative around respectability, around mm -hmm. what we're supposed to look like mm -hmm. and be like. Folks in Ferguson said, no, we're not, we're not your respectable Negro. Mm -hmm. We are going to sag our pants. Mm -hmm. We are going to be ratchet. That's right. And we're OK with that. We believe that we have to show up in our full selves mm -hmm without closeting parts of ourselves, marginalizing parts of ourselves, and build together. You're gonna hear it once. All lives matter. All lives matter. Black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. The reason that we don't use All Lives Matter is because that's obvious, uh, but it's also a utopia that we don't live in. Part of the discomfort around talking about Black Lives Matter is that it breaks open a fundamental contradiction in this country, which is racism and white supremacy. In this next period where we have kind of the sunsetting of one presidency and the ascendancy of another one. We really need to be talking about this question of citizenship, which I think is huge. And I feel like what black folks are fighting for in this moment, right, is, is what we've been fighting for the whole time, which isn't citizenship like papers, right. but it's citizenship like dignity, yeah, right. like humanity, and right? And access. And access, mm -hmm. exactly. And making sure that people have the ability to shape and participate in a new type of democracy. Nobody wants to talk about race in a post-racial society. But this is a real deep-seated disease that mm -hmm. this country suffers from that infects all of our society. And so when we nail this piece around black lives, we're actually trying to unlock the humanity of this country.